Hey everyone, Mark Galashevsky here. This chart shows the MSCI Asia Pacific X Japan Index, which represents Asian stock markets outside of Japan, and the MSCI All Country World X United States Index, which represents all stock markets outside of the United States. Both indexes still trade below their 2007 highs, and the Asia Pacific Index trades only about 70% above its 1994 high while the XUS index trades only about 25% above its year 2000 high. So while stocks outside of the US have progressed over the past few decades, it has been a struggle, now punctuated in recent years by a global pandemic, war, and increasingly rising costs of food and fuel. It may seem like those challenges will never end, and that stocks will continue to struggle or perhaps even collapse entirely, especially at the current juncture. But is it always correct to assume that recent conditions will continue indefinitely into the future? Or is there a way to forecast a reversal of current trends? In fact, there is a way, and it has to do with the Elliott Wave patterns in stock price indexes, which will give you an idea of how long positive or negative trends will last before they finally begin to reverse. In the June 2022 issue of our publications, you can see the long-term wave patterns for these two indexes of stock markets outside of the United States which will help you to set your expectations for how long the current negative trends will last. You'll also find clear forecasts for prices of key food and fuel commodities, as well as for local stock markets, supported by five different long-term sentiment indicators. I hope you enjoy the issue, and I'll see you next month.